All right, so we're at the Red Brick House, and we have been working hard on the place. i um, actually going to take the rest of the evening off uh, as soon as I do a couple things here because it's JMU's homecoming. I got another uh, scoop of gravel. I've got more. Um, <laughs> this project out here has grown quite a bit. Um, because we're on a bit of a hill, um, I've been going through and basically building a retaining wall up in here. Um, to hold the pavers and stuff in here and of course uh, about four tons of gravel is going in there we got sand and everything else but it's going to end up being a great patio here this is going to have over there it's all uh, out of the box but it will have a canopy that will actually go over here so when we're grilling I think we have an electric smoker over at the garage um, we'll be able to have you know, a little shade and stuff on here be able to cook be able to have patio where people can sit down out here and uh, enjoy themselves and hopefully won't need the rescue squad now we've been working on because we are going to have people here on Sunday and I'll be back here tomorrow morning uh, to finish cleaning off the front porch um, I'm using all the tools outside now over off the patio which is great because once I get the patio done it'll be easy just to shoot that sawdust over there to help the soil let's go inside and check out what it looks like First thing you'll notice is we got our steps cleaned up and uh, painted. You see it varnished. It's a door for the bathroom. And our living room. We have a few pieces of furniture now that's in here. Um, this is a drop leaf table for my mom. I need to do a little bit of work and stuff on it. But also, too, this is one of the first RCA um, FM radios right here. And check this out. It's got a little handle. It's on a spring to pick it up. My mom says it works. I haven't plugged it in yet. We've got our fireplace that's in there. We've got the rocks on there. It actually looks like a fire. Now, we have the TV here. I love it right there myself. I love it right there. My wife thinks it's too big for the living room. But, you know, for guys, we can never have a TV that's big enough. Um, and you can see over here, this is our sleep sofa. The sleep sofa is great because the bottom out here actually pulls out and comes up. And unlike your mama's old sleep sofa, which had the mattresses about this thick, this is actually firm cushions. Me and Tracy actually slept on this a couple of nights. It is great. Only problem with it is, if you're the person on the outside, great if you got to go to the bathroom. If you're the person on that side, you got to climb over the other person or try and scoot up over them. We finally have a lamp here, okay? So we got a lamp here in the corner. Um, it's kind of bright, so you can't really see it bouncing off all the way, but there's a lamp over there in the corner, and you can see how nice it washes the wall, although it's the return vent for the air conditioning lamp. That's the only thing you see in there. But looking at the steps, the furniture and things, it's beginning to actually look like a house. This is a desk for my great aunt. Um, we found papers in there from 1930, uh, 38 and stuff. So we don't know how much older it is from there, but we do know that it is definitely old. It belonged to her. Now the kitchen, the kitchen has really come to life. Shout out to my wife, the decorator here. Um, you see all of the plants, the greenery, um, the colors, you know, with it being black and white, the colors we get from the hardwoods. Uh, the antique hard pine and stuff, and from the plants for the greenery. Uh, we did add this light up here, which is great for when you're working here in the kitchen. Great lighting. We ended up building one more cabinet right here, which is great. Uh, all the glasses and things are right here, easy to get to. Coffee supplies are up there in that cabinet. Uh, coffee maker there. And we tucked the TV in the corner. I am going to put this on some rubber feet up a little bit higher. But this actually, before we used to have it sitting over here, gives us tons and tons of workspace here in the kitchen. Um, kitchen to use this Sunday because I will have people over here. So this will be really first time that I've cooked for other people. Um, I'm going to keep it kind of simple. We're going to do like a French dip sub. We've got our three-foot sub right there. But as far as the kitchen goes, um, for the amount of space, because this is only about 17 by 11, there's a lot that you can do. We have seating for four people. 
where people can sit right here at the bar while you're cooking and stuff in here makes it easy there's lots of counter space with the island and the counters behind here and if you're working you can have a person here prepping at the sink and the nice thing is you've got a pull out trash can right here so if you're cutting vegetables and stuff needs to go in the trash you can drop right into there so it's easy to get to and that was my main focus on this kitchen was to make everything really easy to get to some mason jars for my mother old mason jars look at look at those tops right there and this one with the glass this is how you know it's old and you see the bubbles in the glass those are beautiful and my great great grandmother's uh waffle iron is also up in there as well so um we found this washboard that's back behind there here in the house so we're marrying up a lot of the old with the modern conveniences i mean they didn't have an exhaust hood like this um when they had the house we had a chimney over here which we originally think was where the stove would have been and stuff and so it would have been smoky joe's cafe but this is really nice because we even have the task lighting so this is illuminated really really well now i'm working and doing something that's going to be kind of cray cray it's going to be kind of cray cray and this is surprising my wife because she's over with her friends right now over at jmu so i in the bathtub yesterday and you can see where i had sanded out the tub itself no the tub's not broken i'm painting the bottom of it black so it kind of disappears or kind of floats. I want to see what it looks like. And we'll see how my wife likes that effect. And my wife with the great touches in here, let's turn the other light on. You've got the plants, the ferns, they get the natural sunlight here, of course, should grow well. The water bottles. And now that we have the tub, of course, the tub, believe it or not, actually works. And considering how old this tub is, it's actually, the glaze on it is not bad. So that's why the paint job works underneath of here. We may not even worry about glazing that. So I'm gonna paint this out today, see how that looks. We're using Rust-Oleum um, Paint Primer and One uh, Satin uh, to kind of go through there. And I think that's gonna make it look really good. So that's a look at the areas that we mainly have finished. Um, in here, this room is, is uh just needs to be cleaned up and figuring out what we're going to do with it other than we got to finish putting together the cabinet over here so this space um i do need to redo the molding right here take that off and put some of the uh azac on the wall and i've got to fix the brick over there but this room and most of this whole floor is actually put together really well this is the last room that we have to work on down here on this floor and we've got all the plaster on here and um, we're gonna put, pull out all the nails. We'll paint this wall and sand the floors and then this space will be ready. And that actually answers my question. Hmm. We took off the plaster off this wall, but this wall has been covered up and I couldn't remember what the deal was with this fireplace because it's been covered up. So that's still plastered. So we don't know what we're gonna do with this fireplace yet in here either. So that's a look at where we are. I'm going to paint the tub and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so we painted the bathtub last night. Let's take a look and see how it came out. Are, are you ready? Are you, are you ready? All right, let's take a look. Let's go. Wow. It's a little lumpy, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because that looks a whole lot better than rusty. Wow. I still. Yeah, I, I'm too big to be able to get into this thing without getting out unless I put like a, a, a rack to be able to grab up and pull onto it to pull myself out. But I'm gonna get a chair I'm going to get a chair that'll sit right here at the end of the foot of the tub. So that way I can soak my feet. I think that'll be perfect. That's a big foot soaker, but hey, I'm okay with that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Um, 
tomorrow we're going to be actually doing game day from here. Um, I can't wait. This is going to be the first game day where I actually have company here. Um, I'm going to be making some Joe Boo wings. I got my big sub right there. So we're going to do like, I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to do like a roast beef French dip sub. Um, which will be easy to do. Basically, you're caramelizing onions and you're getting au jus, and you're basically dipping in the au jus, putting the roast beef on, on there, melt the cheese, and put it all on the sub with some horseradish sauce. Um, I'm going to make some chicken pasta as well. So we're going to have fun tomorrow here at the Red Brick House. I've got... Huh, I've had a... Went by because I needed some more pavers yesterday. I got some more gravel and we're finishing in here. We're getting closer and closer on this um, of being ready. I needed one more uh, four by six to finish off the ledge and they had some cold lumber. Cold lumber meaning it is got some problems and issues and it's 75% off. But I'll be honest with you, this one right here is as good as the ones that I bought that weren't cold. So. 75% off, but I'm going to use these. Um, I'm going to be making one more retaining wall on this side of the house to help support it. And when I put that wall up, basically I'm going to build like a workbench that will um, be down there for, you know, if I need to fix something or shelving to put tools and stuff in. So it'll be multi purpose. And that's the thing that you want to do as much as possible is things, make things multi functional. Uh, as much as possible. It's not a big house, so you want to be good with all the space that you have. All right, I got to hurry up because today is JMU's homecoming, and uh, we'll be heading on over for JMU's homecoming, and then I'll be back here early in the morning to start cooking. So I've got about two hours before I need to leave here, and I want to get some things done. Peace.